And guys, Sergeant First Class V here, back for another GCSS Army helpful video. So today, we're going to talk about turning on and off material replenishments within your mat sit, okay? So I've had several units come up to me this past week saying, hey, all these parts are coming in, I don't know why. So it could be one of two reasons, really. So one, your ZV lines, right? Your, your demand supported. So that may be a reason or your safety stock levels are set for material and it's going to keep reordering in the, and that material is going to keep coming in until your stock level is what you have it set at, right? So a couple things to keep in mind are off the bat, right? Your ZV lines, your demand supported, right? You cannot change those at the unit level. Those are conducted and changed and maintained at the SPO level. So if you need your reorder point set differently, or you need to change it from ZV to a different type, you need to contact your SPO, okay? Just keep that in mind. At the unit level though, you can change ZM, ZP, and PD. So ZM is your uh, command supported, right? So that mean, that mean all that's saying is, hey, the commander or he delegated to a maintenance manager or some person saying, hey, we wanna stock this item, right? Your ZP uh, material types are all your your new fielding equipment. I know for us, we just got the new pistols. So it comes with two different pistol grips. So that one pistol grip we put in our provisional stock. All right. And then lastly is your PD lines. Your PD lines is any parts you order in the Army, it all comes in PD unless it's specified as ZV, ZM, so forth. Right. So without further ado, let's actually jump in and GCS this Army here. And I'm going to show you how to turn replenish on and off. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the videos that have already been posted. The uh, shop stock series is complete and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So we're going to go to the material situation report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the material management view. All you're going to do is type in your plant and your storage location and you're going to hit enter. All right, let me sort this real fast so I can show you some uh, better material here. All right, so if you look at this right here, it's going to tell you in this column, replenish off. If, if an X is there, it means the material is actually off. OK, keep that in mind when you got your safety stock, right? Your safety stock is set and then your reorder point. The only thing that takes a reorder point are your ZP lines. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, your ZV lines. I'm sorry, your ZV lines. So from there, you can look and see if it's marked as a bench stock indicator and if there's a bin location there, correct? So how do we go about changing this? So there's two ways you can do this. You can actually highlight the whole row. You can either right click and go down to turn replenish on and off, or you can go right here to more functions and it'll pull up them, pull open the same screen here. OK, so for example, you see the ZM, right? ZM line here, right? The safety stock is set at one. So we want to return this off. We're just going to right click turn replenish on and off, you'll hit off, and it's going to give you a green flag. Replenish flag has updated, all right? Let's go back. So one thing to keep in mind, right? So your PD lines. <coughs> if your PD line is set with a safety stock, but it's not marked as bench stock or a bin location, you are not able to turn off our plenish is automatically turned off. So I'm going to show you. So here's a PD with a safety stock of four, right? We're going to right click, go to turn off replenish, and let's see what happens. Materials with MRP type PD not marked as bench stock have been excluded. All right. So one thing to keep in mind, like I said, if you do not have the bench stock indicator marked, it's automatically replenished is turned off. OK. So keep that in mind. Now, like I, like I said, your ZV lines can only be managed at the SPO level, but you are able to adjust the, the uh, replenish, right? So here's a ZV line. So in order to turn a ZV line off, all you have to do is right click, go down to turn replenish on and off, and you're gonna hit execute. Replenish flag is updated, right? And then to show you, all you got to do 
is refresh your screen and you're going to see the replenish is turned off. So that's how you successfully turn off and turn on your auto replenishes. All right, so a couple things to keep in mind. If you still have parts that are coming in that the replenish flag is set off, it may be a few different other issues other than the auto replenish. OK, so one, you're not closing the parts out properly it means you're not consuming them, right? Or your requisition or your um, your manual reservation has not been consumed. And not filled. All right, so just keep that in mind. <clears throat> so I hope this video was helpful. Um, like I said, make sure you check out the other videos that are posted and like always go ordinance.